guests on the show. Got Kaz and Big Show. All right, gentlemen. Uh, today's topic is uh, a little different. I want to talk to y'all about two things: <laughs> regrets and wishes. And um, getting to the topic, keep in mind, I'm gonna ask for y'all to give me your best case answers. No cliches. In other words, no. Well. I wouldn't change a thing, dot, dot, dot. I like life the way it is. Bullshit. <laughs> Everybody would change something or another. At least one thing, I'm sure. So the first thing I'm going to ask y'all, tell me something that you regret doing as you look back in life and also what you would regret never doing that you should have done. Man, you know, I thought about this topic and I still to this day am like, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know, I think. Damn, even, Ke even Kevin ain't said nothing. What, what's Mark, what's hey, really going on? Let the guest talk. Okay. There's. I don't know. There's, I actually have a list. I guess I'll just pick one. Uh, I actually have to say, I think I regret how I treated some girls in my life. I think I'm a better guy than I was at those times. And uh, I so don't you, know if I... So you was a player, huh? Not really. Not really. I wasn't really a player. Okay, y'all. just crushed a lot. I always kept it straight. <laughs> huh? I said he just crushed a lot. He wasn't a player. No, I just, I just, you just love I found him. myself doing something. I don't know, man. I, I just, you know, I wasn't straight. I wasn't straight edge every single time. That's what I think. I think, I, I think with the kind of the way I was raised and the person that I truly am, I think I, I actually I wouldn't even say just girls. I mean, just people in general. I think I, I, I could have treated some people uh, better than uh, than I, I I did. I let it, I, emotions. I let emotions run wild a lot compared to logic. All right. What would you of? Uh, what do you regret not doing? <laughs> I regret not pursuing my music career. I wanted to be in music since fourth grade. And the only thing that pulled me away from it is my kids. I decided that my kids were more important and I pursued taking care of my family and going after my career. I couldn't do, I, I couldn't do both. So I had made a choice. I, I feel you on that. Joe, what about you? <laughs> I don't have any regrets. I like my life the way it is. Uh, no. uh, I would probably say my biggest regret. Uh, biggest. Hmm. It's hard, man. Being a Chiefs fan nowadays? Um, I put that in the Top five. Nah, uh, probably, you know, with some of my... All right, let me, let me stop y'all right there because I'm the non-Chiefs fan, but I'm going to tell you what, that's not a real regret because you ride or die with your team. Yeah, and I understand the Chiefs are y'all's team. That was a joke. Uh, oh, okay, I'm just making sure. Oh, psh. I'm looking my room, dude. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Uh, I, I was I, I was with them when they were two and fourteen, so we good, we all right. Um, probably one of my biggest regrets is you know with certain family members that have passed, not spending more time with them. You know, regretting leaving some things open. That, you know, that should have been closed, type of thing. You know, uh, closing those chapters in my life. As you get older, it kind of a little bit more difficult to deal with sometimes <clears throat> okay uh, now piggybacking off of that um 
what is the one thing that you wish you could have done when you were younger uh, that you could not only change your life, but also change the lives of other people? Wow. See, that last part's the curve. I would, again, go back and say I started college and just for no reason quit. And that old stereotype, I'm going to go back and never did. I think that had I committed to that and stayed with that, the lifestyles of my children and myself would have been better. Big show. I mean, this kind of my coaching career. I uh, wish I'd have done more. I've had a few opportunities to coach uh, community football teams, and had one opportunity to uh, coach us an element or a uh, middle school team but I didn't have the teaching credentials to do so and was too lazy to go back to school to get it. I wish I'd have done that. That would have been, uh, that would have been a lot of fun. I wish we I'd have, have done fun. that. We had fun doing that. I had yeah. fun doing that with you. I had fun doing that with you. All right. Oh, um, <clears throat> now, if you could go back and um, possibly do be or go to that um, right now, if you could do any of that again right now, would you do that? At no. the age I am now? Yeah. No. No. Really? Yeah, because for me, I, I you don't know what the future is going to hold if I go back and then come forward. I don't know what life is going to hold. I'm good. There's a reason that all of that didn't happen. So I run with that. And I've got other, you know, other rods in the fire right now that I, there's no way I could do it at this point. So <clears throat> that makes sense. Now, if you could say something to someone, a loved one, a coworker, or even a total stranger off the streets, what would that be? Good, bad, ugly, right, wrong, or indifferent? Uh, even if you <laughs> wanted to give somebody a straight piece of your mind. What would it be? You don't even have to say who it would be to, but what would it be that you would say? It could be advice. You could be wanting to tell somebody off for years, never have, want to do it. I, I've never been shy of telling anybody off. I don't think I, <laughs> I missed anybody that I wanted <laughs> to tell them off. Mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not I did I really care <laughs> that's what I would say I'm sorry that'd probably be one I would say Yeah, yeah. That that's a tough one. That's a tough one. And to try to keep it brief, that yeah, that's what I would say. And and the person has some kind of access to me, so they ever heard it, they'll probably know who I'm talking to. Believe it or not, I truly care.